What's going on guys, Gator Matthew here. Today I'll be doing a deck showcase on a tempo style control warlock deck. I made this list a few days ago and I honestly think it is the best warlock list. Ticketus, Yashirosh, Cascading Disaster, all of these cards are super slow against aggro decks and it simply leads you to just get rolled over. The idea behind this deck is very similar to the current priest list. You play an aggressive early game shell in order to have raised dead bring back multiple minions and to control the board while you save up for your big power turns. Jaraxxus essentially solos every single control deck by itself and you really don't need Yashiraj, Ticketus, Cascading Disaster, all those cards to win the late game. As opposed to Priest though, Warlock has the ability to go a lot lower in its curve because of the life tap hero power. We run Armor Vendor, Spirit Jailer, Death's Head Cultist to really show that. We're playing low to the ground minions, they're fighting on board, they're fighting aggro, and we're trying to win through that instead of removal spells. On top of that, I was just looking at the win rates for different cards in Control Warlock, and I was shocked by how insane Malicia was performing. This card was the best mulligan card. It was the best drawn win rate card. It just looked insane in every regard, and I thought to myself, I want to have this card in my hand on turn 7 every single game. We're going to be keeping Malicia in our opening hand, and I've also chosen to cut the normal Alexstrasza and Flesh Giants in order to make sure my Talon gets Malicia so I can always have her on turn 7. She's an insane tempo swing and wins most games. Mulligan-wise, this deck is pretty simple. You want to keep your early game minions like Armor Vendor and Spirit Jailer. Keep Drain Soul and Soul Shear, especially when you're up going first against Aggro. You play your 1-drop, they play their 1-drop, you Soul Shear their 1-drop. On turn two. Also, you want to keep Mankirk as well as Sociologist Melissa when you are against a slower deck. Kazakus is also a keep into slower matchups. On top of that, against Warlock and Priest, you keep Jaraxxus. Again, this deck will lose the mirror match to Ticketus. It's the unfortunate truth of the matter. Ticketus does win slow matchups. However, the entire Ticketus package is so atrocious against aggro that the deck is just pitiful. This deck beats aggro decks on board, but it does lose to specifically the mirror matchup in Ticketus Warlock. However, it still beats Priest, so that's something positive to write home about. The main tip I can give for this deck is you want to play on board. You're not a standard control deck, you're not sitting back and removing, you're playing on board, you're winning the board, you're controlling the board. Don't play slow, try and win the board, aggressively trade against aggro decks, try and win that board. You have your Void Drinker over the top, you have Kazakus, you have all these powerful mid-game cards, but you also have this very strong early game, you want to leverage that, beat aggro on the spot, and then close the game with Jaraxxus and Malicia. Last part of the video is going to be a quick game showcase against Secret Paladin. I will have more games of this deck up, coming out in the few, next few days, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Paladin. With a dead deck tracker. Interesting. So, Drain Soul is very good. Jailer is very good. I'm going to toss the second Jailer. Maybe not a great idea. Ah, I probably wanted to play Jailer tap on three. But main goal here is to Jailer on one. He places one drop. I Drain Soul kill with the Jailer. First day of school is nuts. Lab partner is a nuts. Get off a nuts card. Drain soul. That's why I kept the card. Night plus night. Fine. Mancrick on three. Pretty basic game so far. Sure, sure, sure. Absolutely nothing interesting so far. It's Prox Avenge. Is that a problem? No. Mm, maybe it is. 
No, it's not. Proc Avenge. Maybe I rushed that. Yeah. There wasn't much reason to proc Avenge there. I, I don't know why I told him not to proc anything. Should have just, just ignored it. Crab Rider. Hand of a Doll. Conviction. Interesting play. No, but it makes sense. I actually don't have a way to bust through this. That is kind of shocking. Do I just lose to this? Is that a thing? It actually might be a thing. But I think I'm dead. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm Talon. I mean, it's a better card. Drinker's more stats. I want Talon because it gives me Melicia. Next turn, I'm probably going to school spirits. This is going to bot me, though. Oh, and the sword, actually. Yeah, it does. Yep, sword of falling pushes for 12. Maybe I am just dead. He trades? I don't think trading is ever correct there. Ooh, that's not the top deck I wanted to see. I just lose the game from those top decks? I think I did. Yep, I did. Unfortunate. Wait, what was that? I top deck two soul fragments, which just murdered my Melicia. That's your Jaraxxus. That's no good. Probably all my Yog. Not a great to play this looks like I can die. It's just Void Drinker. Unfortunately, my Melicia is now in play because I drew two fragments at the top. <laughs> so. Zakis. Okay, he does have to trade, which is very good for me. The problem is that I lose to the Kazaka's Golem. Which is very bad. Hmm. I guess I have to raise dead for no reason. That's actually a huge draw. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> the internal battle here, whether this draw is good or not. Because this becomes a pretty... Wait, this almost kills me. I think almost dying is just a natural part of this game state. I actually do want to draw my fragments now, so I'm going to school spirits first. Actually, this can draw a bunch of good cards. I'm going to play it out first. Like any of the two mana things are insane. Ogre is a cool draw. Like Drain Soul here wins the game for me. Those kind of cards. Cold is also very good. I think we got there. I think we got there barely. Plays the ogre. Yeah, I think this man Kirk does just end the game for me. Please don't have like a fragment. Fantastic. Oh, this summons five. Need to make board space. Okay. Malicia Giga Trade. Uh, probably correct to trade off the man Kirk as well. I just, just have a huge board going for me. Jaraxxus possibility next turn. A 
Let's see what happens. Gosper, Gosper. Protector, why not? This actually gets moderately close to killing me. Well, first, let's see how many secrets I proc. So, ooh, Noble Sack. So that's plus one secret. Is it also event? No, it can't be event. Okay. So this is going to force a trade. A two trades or one trade? Two trades. So I want to go boom, boom. Alicia in. Jaraxxus, double trade. Okay. Board is established. Drax over the top is good. Let's see. Should just be a concede line for him. Yeah, that is not a very good golem. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. The stealth card draw golem. Okay. Hopefully I top deck something to spend my mana on. Hysteria is not that something. I think I just play Armor Vendor. This is 912. I just want to go face. I think he's going to die. I don't want to worry about Oh My Yog killing me. None of that stuff. Braggart's powerful here, but doesn't accomplish too much. Crab Rider. Okay. My opponent did get bored back here. So good for him. Um, this puts me in an awkward spot. I'm gonna backfire first, check for all my yog. I top pick the siphon, which does end the game. Very, very nice. That is lethal. So yeah, played the early tempo game, sustained, drew my Draxus, played Draxus, and slowly won the game from there.